Forests are an important global resource. They purify our air, purify our water, provide building materials and habitats for species. They're also an important part of the global carbon cycle as forests absorb and store carbon within the forests. But as our climate changes, so are our forests. As our forests are, are changing, we see temperatures are rising, and these rising temperatures are causing more fires more frequently, more insect disturbances across Canada, which are uh, releasing more carbon from forests and also altering uh, habitats. Additionally, productivity is increasing across Canada as temperatures are rising. And this is sequestering more carbon from the atmosphere into uh, the forest. If we want to understand how our forests are going to change in the future, we need to understand the combined effects of these increases in productivity and changes in disturbances on how these shape the structure of our forests. So for my research, I'm looking at the relationship between forest productivity, forest disturbances, and how these affect the structure of boreal forests across Canada. To do this, I have three main data sources that I use. First, on the bottom, I use light detection and ranging data, known as LIDAR. Here we use LIDAR to look at the detailed structure of forests. LIDAR systems work by emitting pulses of laser energy and recording the timing of these pulse returns. If you emit millions and millions of pulses over a forest canopy, you get a really detailed look at the structure of these forests. Second, I use optical imagery, as you see on the top right, to identify disturbances across the boreal. By having four decades of optical imagery collected from satellites, we can get a very detailed, uh, precise measurement of the timing, severity, and types of disturbances across the boreal. And we can look at how these disturbances affect the structure of forests across the boreal. Third, we use productivity measurements. This is a combination of climate data, uh, measurements from satellites that look at how much energy forest canopies are absorbing, and vegetation type to look at how productive forests are across Canada. By combining this information with the disturbance information, we can look at how disturbances affect forest structure across gradients of productivity across the Canadian boreal, which can improve our understanding of how our forests are going to change as our climate changes.